Good morning. Uh, I'm John Arlette, and we're here today to examine a change below this patient's uh, masseter. She had some uh, filler placed in this area in order to redrape the jaw and developed a localized change, which we've aspirated and shown uh, no bacteria in it. It's been cultured on two occasions, and it has gone down. Uh, she initially had some difficulty in uh, uh, opening her mouth and some local discomfort. That now has faded. So today we're here to aspirate what's left within this uh, small loculated area uh, and uh, show you ultrasound guided intervention with aspirating it, after which we will put some uh, hyaluronidase directly into the area to dissolve any remaining uh, filler. So when we just have the patient turn her head to the side a little bit, we're going to localize this and I'm going to be watching on the monitor. And we can see here that we have a anechoic area at the base of the masseter right on top of the mandible. You can see the fascia around the masseter. We can see that this is relatively superficial and what we'll be doing is we'll go right into this. Um, so we know that the size of this area that we'll be aiming for is uh, about 5.4 millimeters in thickness. So we'll go back on to looking at this area. Now before I go ahead with this, we can see it's well localized. I'm just gonna take the device off. I'm gonna put a little bit of local anesthetic in to make it more comfortable for our patient and lend a little bit of, dis little bit of discomfort as I put the local anesthetic in. Now as we're doing an intervention, we're moving to a sterile process. The ultrasound gel we're using comes from a sterile package. Uh, we're just putting a um, sterile cover over top of the uh, monitor. So you can see we now have a sterile sheath over top. I have sterile gloves. We have our sterile syringe. And we're just gonna pop the top off the, uh, the needle. We're now gonna localize the area again. So we can see this under the ultrasound. And I'm just gonna bring the needle in. Here we have an example of using ultrasound guided intervention to see what has happened over time with an area of change. So we had a solitary area that was initially loculated with uh, purely material in it. This was aspirated and then the uh, hyaluronic acid gel that was present was dissolved. The area decreased in size and now we have just a firm area uh, that does not have a loculation or central abscess. As we haven't been able to aspirate anything from this area, I suspect that this is now a granuloma, which causes us to think about a couple of options of how this has developed. And so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to inject this directly with some uh, triamcinolone acetonide, uh, 20 milligrams per mil, uh, right into the body of the, let's call it a nodule. And we'll see how that then changes the course of um, this lesion. Now we're using a much thinner needle. We're in our nod and you can just see the steroid go in. So now we've started our second stage of treatment. We've tried our intervention in terms of aspiration, which we have done before. We've injected it with hyaluronidase. And today we've uh, aspirated, we've been unable to aspirate any material. So we've injected directly into uh, this area with triamcinolone acetonoid. We've put in uh, 0.2 cc's of 20 milligrams per mil using a 22 gauge needle. So there we have it, ultrasound guided intervention for an area below the masseter which developed subsequent uh, to a filler injection.